back to news Geelong. Well, let's head to one of the fortresses of Geelong sport, the Racing Club, with our very own Mr John Dunn. With almost a thousand people booked into various functions, Bracey's Gold Cup Christmas party race day was always going to be a big one. And favourite punters were off to a good start early in the day when the dollar ninety favourite It's One took out the Archibald Builders maiden plate. In a shown at the 200, joined by It's One, who spread it to the front. In a shown's coming back, but it's It's One about a neck in front of In a shown. It's One drawing clear the last little bit, and she's going to win it by about a half length to In a shown. Zadiel, the first starter, kicked off a good day for trainer Nigel Blackiston in the PJ&T Motors maiden plate. The baldy chestnut struggled to get to Lucky Edge halfway up the straight, but gradually wore him down and came away for a big win on debut. Down to the 300 metres mark, Lucky Edge four in front of Zadil. Two lengths away, he's a miracle D-Bond. Nothing really coming from Anala Champ at the 150. Lucky Edge, he's very tight. He's two, three in front. Zadil is winding up and he's coming fast and he's just about got him. Takes the lead and Zadil on debut wins it for Walker by a half length to Lucky Edge. The Peter Snowden train galloper address shows a bit of promise and he chalked up the second win of his career when he scored impressively in the Campolina Racing Handicap. Address quickly going up to Wimber at the 200. They're fighting it out there, two and a half lengths in front. Uh, Prior battling to get there at the moment, but Address took over, shot away from Wimber, who's getting tied. Luna Nova, Prior both running on, but Address is too good for them. He's very genuine, and he went home to win from Prior and third Luna Nova. Well, the feature event of the day, the Breeze's Gold Cup, saw Lady Balaclava for Nigel Blackiston backed in from $7.50 into $3.10 on fixed odds overnight. And the four-year-old Bonnie Mare bounced back to her very best after several disappointing performances. And halfway down the state, she kicked clear and scored most impressively to take out this year's Breeze's Gold Cup. Balaclava, Balaclava Lady Zoom clear at the 200. She opened up two lengths in front of Bell Rhythm. Running on from the back, Northern Jet and kicking again, Moss Ailey, but it's Balaclava Lady in front. Moss Ailey can't get to it. Balaclava Lady's too good for them. Balaclava Lady goes home a winner. Second, Moss Ailey, where's the bar third? And that's the wrap-up of racing. Brucey's Gold Cup Day for the year 2000. The next one is a big one. It's the Wilson's Real Estate Boxing Day races. A great way for families to catch up for Christmas and enjoy a day at the races. We look forward to seeing you all out here for the Boxing Day races. Back to you, Alex. And you really have to front up to training if you want to get a game with Newtown this year. Thanks for the advice, JD. I'll take it on board. We'll head to the Avalon Raceway now, catching up with Steve Lyons after winning the Fireball Derby. You've got the first, uh, first flip out of the way on uh, here at Avalon, mate, but Good news is you're okay. Yeah, no, it's all good. Um, looks like just the top wing, I think. And the top wing, front wing of the boys listening and going, getting ready. Everything else looks all right. But um, no, we're just trying to get some good laps done. And it's just part of racing. When that happens, it just happens. And go back and fix it and come back out again. Talking to your car owner there this evening, just commenting how well you went at Warnable last week. And looking at the first heat race as well, you continued on. You're really uh, settling in nicely, really quickly. Yeah, no, which is, which is good. We're... We're happy with that, and Dave's happy with that, and um, as long as we can come out and do some laps, this season's all about learning. I've never driven one before, the boys have never worked on one before, so every time we go out and do a lap, we're learning something, so it's really good. Other than the four wheels, is there any similarities between a street stock and a sprint car? No, none. <laughs> none. It's the, same. the track's the same when it's wet, it's greasy, but it's, um, there's no difference at all. It's like starting again, so it's good fun for all. We should make mention, too, that you raced the Formula 500 for the last couple of seasons. That had to be a little bit of a, a hint with a wing as to what you expected in this. Yeah, it was. It gives a bit of an idea what's going to happen. Um, it's just a whole different thing, just getting used to the downforce of the wing. It's something I've never dealt with before, but we started to get it right in the Formula, and Dave came along and gave us this, grassy, well, this massive opportunity to come and drive for him, and it's, it's the best thing ever. Mate, you'll get a handle on it. I've got no doubt about that, because you're a good racer and you're a good listener, so... Keep the chin up, and uh, we'll see you out and about in the weeks to come. No, thanks, Gav. We'll, um, hopefully we'll get back out and hopefully made to the sea. So we'll get back out and do some more laps and see if we can learn some more stuff. Third time in a row that Stephen Lyons out of Mount Gambier has won the Fireball Derby, the Bill Evans Memorial event held here at Avalon Raceway. Stephen, 54 cars started tonight. You outrun them in qualifying. You set a cracking top six pole shootout lap to get you on pole. 
bided your time in some traffic, got by Sean Dobson, the early leader, and went on to a great victory. Congra congratulations. How do you feel? Yeah, obviously great. Um, you know, I'd love coming here to Avalon and racing, and uh, obviously win the Fireball Derby again is, you know, a great achievement. And I'd really like to thank all my crew and everything else that helps me out. They to give me a great car and, you know, gives us confidence to be able to do what we do. You had superior car speed, it looked like. You were very good in traffic. You could go to the outside when you needed to and just kept your nose clean. It seemed like a really tidy race and I would say picture perfect, almost an A-plus for that event. Yeah, it was. Obviously, we just worked on the car during the night. Um, the track widened up there a bit, so it was uh, it was interesting. And obviously, lap traffic, there was a bit of that. So uh, obviously, got through there OK. And it, it just all comes down to working as a team. And obviously, the car and everything's working for us. So uh, yeah, no, just really, really happy we got through. And obviously, with so many cars and being a, being a tough night racing as it is every time we hit the SRA now um, with so many cars and everything, it's, it's good to keep your nose clean. And, and that's what you got to do. The next time we see you back here at Avalon will be later in the month for NZ World Series Sprint Cars. I'm sure this gives you a real confidence boost coming into a key time of the year. Yeah, for sure. Obviously looking forward to World Series. Um, obviously I'd like to thank Halls Motorsport for giving us the opportunity, all their sponsors and everyone along the way. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can carry our confidence in and, and just keep, you know, keep getting the runs on the board and um, keep everyone happy and keep having fun. Well, you're two from two here at Geelong. You won the Jackpot Invitational back in October. Back that up with a great result tonight. Congrats on the season thus far. Very good. Thanks very much for that. Exciting times up at the raceway. Well, as we go to a break, don't forget you can watch those segments and more on our YouTube channel.